Hey y'all, I saw that there was a big earthquake in Mexico and that made me think of some of the prophetic words God has been speaking over Mexico in the recent years. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about them, tell you how I think we should pray for Mexico and give you a little insight into how God is speaking through his prophets, through multiple prophets. So let's get into it. I am in the middle of getting ready for my day, so just doing a little voiceover to make it a little easier. So when I saw that there was a big earthquake in Mexico, I immediately thought of some of the prophecies that God had given Luz de Maria Bonilla about praying for Mexico. And I also thought of a prophetic word given to Troy Black about what's going to happen in September specifically talking about Mexico. So in the prophecies to Luz de Maria Bonilla, God repeatedly says um, through, sometimes it's Jesus, sometimes it's St. Michael, and sometimes it's our Holy Mother that has spoken these words, but they all say, pray for Mexico. Um, some of the words specifically speak to the corrupt government selling the people of Mexico to the de devil. So that is a big deal, obviously, in God's eyes. We know that our Holy Mother is a great patron. And the prophecies given to Troy Black about Mexico, he says several things. Uh, something is going to happen in September and God will give a sign. He says that Mexico is on fire and that the Holy Spirit is going to do a great move in Mexico. So I will put that specific prophecy in the description box so you can actually listen to it yourself and hear exactly from his mouth what the God, Holy Spirit spoke to him. So just going off of those couple of points of that prophecy... I think several things. One, I think that the people of Mexico are highly favored for their deep devotion to our Lord and also his Holy Mother in the devotion of Our Lady of Guadalupe. I also think that the fire of the Holy Spirit can mean multiple things. One, it can be the fire of revival, the fire of a strengthening of the Spirit, but also it can literally mean that they're, we're going to see fires. So that can happen from aftershock. That can happen from other phenomenon in nature, whatever it could be. Um, so I think we should continue to pray for Mexico, the people of Mexico, their protection, and obviously the growth of their spirit. Also the sign coming in September could certainly be the volcano that we saw today. The volcano was a 7.0. God likes to use certain numbers sometimes, so 7 is definitely one of those numbers. Uh, the volcano is a sign of nature. That's obviously a God thing too. Um, and also, when we see that there is minimal um, casualties... I think that that shows a sign of God's mercy as well. The article I read this morning said that there has been a earthquake four years to the day of this earthquake that was much bigger and there was much more devastation. I think that we can compare and contrast the difference of what you know God is doing and just kind of keep a closer eye on how he works and start to learn a little bit more how he is speaking to us through prophecy in our modern times. So that's all I really have for you to today. If you've heard of any prophecies about Mexico or about September, include them in the comments below. I would love to hear what else God is saying. And please share this with anybody that might be interested. Let's all pray for Mexico. Let's be help of Christians together and pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. 
And thank you for checking in. May God bless you. May God keep you and yours protected by the precious blood of his son, Jesus. God bless you.